If your pipes freeze up in this bitter cold we're having right now, is there a way you can solve the problem without having to call in a professional? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller is live for us downtown tonight. Well, Keith, experts tell me that you can use something like a hair dryer to thaw out pipes that are in a small space like in a kitchen or a bathroom. But today, I met a homeowner whose pipe problem ran a little deeper. We have been steaming hot water in the pots, lighting all the candles in the house to keep it warm downstairs. Dr. Harsh Sharma knows firsthand what it's like to be living in the cold. He spent almost a week without heat after the pipes that heat the downstairs of his Amherst home froze. But instead of trying to thaw it out himself, he called the experts at Danforth, who have been very busy during this extreme cold, thawing pipes all over western New York. We have the resources as we know what is supposed to be done. Experts use professional electrical equipment similar to a car jumper cable to get the water flowing. All right, and you just go back, then you turn it on, and what it does is generates heat on these cables, and it will heat the pipe together. And with the flip of a switch, the thawing process begins, and it seems like common sense. But some people think they can speed up the process by using yes. dangerous devices like a blowtorch, which could end up doing more harm than good. A, you can cause fires. B, you can split the pipe by thawing it too quickly. And more than three hours later, well, it's all thawed now. I was just waiting for everything to get hot. Heat is back at the Sharma home. I'm glad it's working now. <laughs> the heating nightmare is yeah. over. And here's another tip. If you usually set your heat down during the day when you go to work or you're out doing something, don't do that during extreme cold. Experts say that can also lead to frozen pipes. So keep that heat at a consistent temperature all day. Reporting live in downtown Buffalo tonight, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.